Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the Eastern Economic Corridor here in Thailand. And there are some people that are curious, what is this thing called the EEC? What are we talking about? Well, I've got a publication that's called Eastern Economic Corridor, the prime gateway to Asia. This was made by the Thai government, Thailand Board of Investment, uh, the EEC itself, Industrial Estate Authority of Thailand, Ministry of Industry, and Office of the Prime Minister. And at the back of this, real quick, let's just go over some of the privileges associated with this Eastern Economic Corridor. Basically what it is, is it's a geographic area, and I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, but uh, maximum incentives for qualified investment projects, exemption of corporate income tax for up to 15 years, exemption of import duties, matching grants, permission to own land for BOI promoted projects, rights to states land lease for 50 years, 17% personal income tax rate, the lowest rate in ASEAN, one-stop service center to facilitate foreign investors, and five-year work visa issuance. So notably, like for example, the lease of 50 years, well that's longer than the standard 30 years accorded under standard Thai law and the Civil and Commercial Code. Five-year work visas as opposed to the usual one-year work visas, work permits and visas. And I'm presuming that they are talking about the smart visa when they're talking about those type of five-year visas because the smart visa program allows issuance of such documents for five years. So with respect to the geographic area, uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw some of these maps up here on the chan on this uh, video here. Go ahead and throw this stuff up here. Here's the first one. It sort of shows all these logistics hubs. And what you're looking at, it's the eastern part of the Gulf of Thailand, basically from Bangkok proper running down to sort of around uh, da, 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 Padia, I think Sadaheep gets picked up in here. D definitely goes through Chonburi, Chachan Sao, the uh, yeah Chonburi, Rayong. So the maybe it doesn't get quite down to Sadaheep. I misspoke there. The um, but as far as provinces, you're dealing with Rayong, Chonburi, Chachan Sao, and Bangkok. And I'll go ahead and throw up some of these other video or some of these other maps they've got on here. The because there's some there's some really interesting ones. This one is another one shown here in blue. They eventually plan to have rail stations that go from Swanapum International, ending all the way down at Maptaput Port. That's Rayong Station, Padia Station, Sri Racha Station, Chonburi Station, Chachan Sao Station. So long term, and we've seen this infrastructure here in Bangkok building. There's a major train station here in Bangkok currently under construction. I think they're getting close to being finished. When that is complete, they will be able, I think, to start expanding down into this Eastern Economic Corridor. This thing will be substantial. And as the region, as Thailand specifically, becomes more important from a geoeconomic standpoint, especially as a logistical hub, as an entrepot, if you will, this Eastern Ep Economic Corridor, I suspect, will thrive and grow. Now, the thing to take away from this video, as noted, those privileges mentioned at the beginning, those are pretty substantial for any business here in the kingdom. So couple that with the possibility of increased business infrastructure, more business occurring here in Thailand, and I think it leads to a major, it's sort of a catalytic event, if you will, that we're going to end up with a relatively, I think rather soon, because the government seems committed to the infrastructure necessary behind this initiative. So I think that this will happen. And over time, I think that the increases in the efficiencies and the increases in the amount of infrastructure associated with this program is going to result in a benefit for all concerned, notably the people of Thailand, because more business will be coming here, but also for foreign businesses who are looking to get some leverage in the region and sort of enjoy things like the tax holidays and the immigration exemptions, et cetera, and the, and the land holding, um, the land holding privileges that can come with Eastern Economic Corridor membership, for lack of a better term. The, um, I think we're gonna see that in the relatively near future. 
and it can be beneficial for all concerned. 